I want to show you how to analyze your data generated from Alva Lattice Design and I want to I want to believe that you understand or you know how Alva Lattice Design looks like in the field. For the sake of those who have no idea, let me quickly rush through how the design looks like. This basically is the design. For instance, here we have 24 genotypes. And these genotypes, we want to plant them in three replications. So we have replication one, two, and three. This replication, in each replication, we divide the replication into small blocks that are uniform. We assume that this block one is uniform, two is uniform, all these, they are uniform. Inside each block, it's uniform. Because we have 24 genotypes and we have divided them into six blocks, each block is going to have four genotypes, so that we have the total of 24 genotypes. And uh, basically, this is how uh, uh, alpha lattice design treatments are arranged. And let us quickly shift to R and uh, analyze our data using alpha lattice design. The first thing we do is to install the package which we want to use. We are going to use LME4. So if you don't have this, you install using this command and then load it into a library using this uh, function library. You do that. And I'm going to do analysis using uh, uh, linear models. After having our packages uh, intact there, installed and loaded, then we import our data. This is my data. Um, I have imported and called data. I've used this read.csv function because my data was saved in Excel.csv uh, format. So I use read.csv function and I've called it data. And next thing, I want to view the structure of this data. So I do that. I, and you can see in the console, the replication block and genotypes are not factors. So we need them to be factors. So the next thing we do is to convert them to factor. We use as dot factor function. You see this data which we, we imported here data. Uh, this dollar sign means uh, a column, column for block, column for rep, column for genotypes, and we convert them uh, as factor. Uh, as third, we run, we run, we run. Now we have done that, we have converted them to factor. Then we fit our model. I've called this model. And this is a fixed um, effect model. I'm going to use uh, LM stand for linear model function, LM, uh, LM function. And my response uh, response variable is TCC. And then uh, it's explained by genotype, uh, rep, and block. So uh, the source of, uh, of variation, the source of variation is genotype, replication, and block. That's how my model says that we have TCC here, which is a, a response variable. That is, a, the variation in TCC is due to genotype replication and the blocks. However, blocks are nested inside the replication. That's why they are uh, written this way. So our data is data because we called it data. I run. Now, I want to remind you that this is a fixed effect. I'm taking all these variables as fixed. That's why I'm using linear LM, LM, uh, L LM function. So if I want to see an overture for this, I type an over, then model. Then I run. Down here in the console, we have our uh, an over. We have our responses, TCC. Genotype here, uh, replication, uh, blocks nested in the replication, and the residue. So this uh, analyzing a single location experiment, if we go, we get to multiple location experiment, let's import our data uh, using read.csv. I call it data one here. Let me import this mess data. And the next is to see the structure as we did it there. We, you can see a location, replication, block, and genotypes. They are not factors. So we use the same method as we used previously to convert these into factors. After that, we run this. Now there are factors. Then we fit our model. This is a fixed effect model. 
that everything here, every variable here is taken as fixed. So we use linear model LM function here. Then we call this model one. Yield, uh, if, we, we, if we view uh, data one, we have location, replication block, genotype. The source of variation is due to genotypes, blocks, uh, replication, and location. And now, that's why you can see we have replication here and uh, blocks that are nested in a replication and genotype and location. These are sources of variation. As you can see here, location, replication, block, and genotype. And you see reps, and you can see blocks are nested inside the replication. I want to show you that now we have also an interaction here, genotype interacting with a location. Our data is data one. So we run that, and also after the run after that, we click here and we we get and we find our an offer, our an offer tables. You can see we have our yield. Uh, so these are source of variation: replication, genotype, location, blocks in a array, and this uh, interaction of genotype and location and residue. So all these are we have taken the source of variation everything as fixed and you can also do the same if you have multiple location and multiple years this is the script that we use it's the same as the previous part now we have added a, a year here having a geno an interaction of genotype location here and now let's uh, do a one a thing that you need to note that's very important that is that in alpha lattice designs genotypes and blocks are taken as random blocks are random because they are not complete they are incomplete blocks so they are taken as random and genotypes are also taken uh, in random here so it's the same model that we run here there but now we have uh, indicated this one here and this uh, symbol here for genotypes and for blocks is here we have done it uh, like this this is one location this one location uh, this one location analysis so genotypes and blocks are random so you you we run that and then we run summary of this of the model 3 we summarize that from this summary you can view that we have random effects here uh, we have genotypes and the blocks nested in the uh, replication, and these are their variances. Next, we go to uh, mass location. We do the same. This, you see, the blocks nested to replication are random, genotypes are random, and this interaction is random because genotypes are random, genotype by location is random. So we, we run that, and then we do the summary you get the random effects and the fixed effects now these are random effects they are here genotype and uh, interaction of genotype and location genotype and rep nested in, and the blocks nested in replications these are their variance components so in short this is how we analyze alvalatis sign it's very easy and uh, for you to run this uh, mixed models with fixed and random like genotypes random, rep is fixed. You need LME4 package that we that we install and load it into the library. This is it, and I hope it was helpful. Thank you.